Zootopia, Walt Disney's latest movie, where we follow Judy Hopps the rabbit and Nick Wilde the fox, two anthropomorphic animals in a world where humans never happened as they stop crime. For the most part, this world of Zootopia is bright and cutesy. But what happens when we dig deep into the production history of Zootopia? Let's find out. First of all, when we look at the concept art, we find several versions of Judy Hopps. Some where she's a completely different color, one where she's working in an administration in a world where Zootopia did not have internet, and a version that's pretty close to her final version with some minor differences. Eventually, we land on her final version. An interesting version of Judy is a tough version of her. We'll be looking at this point in production. As for Nick, his concept art stayed most of the same, except for one thing. If you look at this concept art, we notice something. He's wearing some sort of color. According to the concept art booklet, an early version of the movie had Prey exploiting their strength in numbers to dominate predators, who were dominated by being forced to wear colors that prevented accidental expressions of their natural aggression. This shot color is explained in an early opening scene. Take a look. Thousands of years ago, the world was a different place. A place where everybody was naked. Mammals were divided into two groups. Predators with sharp teeth and prey with the flat teeth. And why weren't we friends? Mmm, Finnick. Cause we wouldn't share. Close. Because predators would eat us. Yeah. No one's eaten anyone in thousands of years. But just to be extra safe, we have the tame collar. When a predator gets agitated, the tame collar reminds them to be good. So now all mammals can be together. In the beginning was this So what Nick was wearing was a shock collar. So predators were oppressed by prey. But there's more to this version of Zootopia. In this version, Nick ran a hidden indoor illegal theme park called Rile Times where predators were able to let their instincts run wild. It had attractions such as whack-a-mole, catapult, a bite strength tester, bumper cars, and the otter slide, to name a few. Nick had an office behind the roar -a coaster This version would also go into depth as to where Nick lived. In this version, Nick lived in a rundown apartment. As you can see, the apartment is in shambles. And in this photo in which Nick is standing in the apartment, Nick looks emotionally scarred. As for the plot, Nick gets accused of a crime he did not commit, and gets arrested by Judy. Shortly after, Nick escapes and is chased down by Judy, but for unexplained reasons, Judy eventually takes him to Bunnyboro, the hometown of Judy, where he rakes up surrounded by bunnies. They eventually become friends and likely work together to end the oppression of predators. We can assume this through a short clip which shows what appears to be Nick after getting his collar taken off. However, this could be for another scene. For example, it is possible that this scene could have been used when Nick was possibly taken to a hospital. Obviously, this version was much darker in the final plot. In the documentary Imagining Zootopia, it's explained why this version was scrapped. Take a look. We had been telling the story through Nick's point of view. And all that did was make the movie less and less fun. We kept finding that it, the story kept getting darker and darker and darker, and people weren't connecting with the main characters as much as we wanted to. And so after a while, we thought, OK, well, we really need to try something drastic. I want to love this world. But because of the collars, 
from the very beginning, I hate this world. You should rethink things so that make us love the world. Despite all this, it would still be interesting to see and imagine what Zootopia would have been like if this darker version went through. Hey everyone, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. This video was a bit of an experiment for me, so um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you like this video and want to help out, then go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter, check out my subreddit, and check out my website. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.